To install a package with Julia, simply open up package mode with the right bracket once Julia is loaded. Type in add in the package name. To remove the package, type in remove in the package name. It doesn't get more simple than that. Uh, keep following along though because I'll show you exactly how to do that in this video. Today we're going to look at how to install a package in Julia. Quite simply, uh, if you enter package mode by pressing the bracket, the open square bracket as indicated in this part, Julia enters package mode, then simply add the name of your package. Julia has quite an extensive list of packages, one of the things that makes this language great. I'm still learning Julia myself, so hopefully this package name that I picked actually exists. I've been programming for 15, 20 years, and Julia is the latest language that I'm trying to learn. So when you add a package to Julia, it downloads a package from GitHub. You can go and take a look at the package in general there. Uh, it downloads, I believe, the latest version. It may be possible to download a specific version of Julia, but a specific version of a package depending on your uh, project manifest manifest file. Uh, I'm not quite sure how it works, but I was doing a bit of research before uh, making this video, and it seems that you can fix the package at a certain version. Now, it, it also installs, if you take a look here, it's installed all the things that, uh, I believe these are things that the are relied on by my CSV package, uh, things like data frames, um, tables. It's interesting the data frames installed. That seems to be quite a popular uh, package. Let's see if we can do something about that. De could not determine command. Okay, fair enough. Version. Nope, okay. Uh, question mark. Let's see what we've got. Oh, we can remove package. Okay. Uh, so what else do we have in here? So to remove a package from Julia, it seems to obviously be remove CSV. And we should go back to where we are before. It's removed all of the uh, dependent packages as well, the ones that aren't referenced. Hopefully these aren't referenced elsewhere, but we add it back again. So as you can see, it's quite straightforward to add or remove packages from Julia. Simply, there we go. let's go back to our, press control C there. So when the prompt comes up, the Julia prompt comes up, simply press the uh, close square bracket key to switch to package mode. Then type in add, the name of the package, and it will do so. To exit the package mode, I've used control and C and to get back to the Julia prompt. To find packages to install, I was using uh, Julia Hub. Uh, you can see that my my next video coming up is going to be on uh, how to read CSV files. So hit subscribe if you're interested in how to read CSV files in Julia. Uh, and I've looked at Excel files as well because it, it can be often the case that you want to import Excel data into Julia. So uh, I've, I've used Julia Hub to find this. There are some good uh, packages on here such as this plots one. I'm actually planning on making a plots video in the future. So I might go ahead and install the package now just to show you again how adding packages work. So it, it even tells you here. You can, you can try this syntax, syntax package add plots. However, in the REPL, if you enter package mode, you can simply do plots, add plots. I'll try, I'll see if I can do the other way for you as well. Let's go back here. Let's try jump. I know a lot of people have used jump as well. Domain specific modeling language. So we're, we're still installing our plots package. Plots seems to be a very common one. I mean, I've got plots ready to go here. So I'll be looking at how to plot a graph in Julia uh, soon in the future. And in the meantime, I'm still learning Julia. I'm still new at this language. And it seems like um, an interesting language to learn for data analysis. It seems to be very well supported. And I'm keen to understand a bit further where this is going. Uh, ultimately, with, with this channel, I want to build a dashboard or, or build an API. I've got some projects in mind because I, I feel projects are the best ways to learn a language once you've got the basics down. So I've done a few videos, if you see below, 
uh, if you see in the comments below or over in the sidebar, if you hit subscribe or check out my channel, you'll see I've done a few videos on the basics of how to uh, do different commands in Julia, how to work with the REPL, and ultimately I'm going to look at how to build a script in Julia and then how to build a program. Because there's no point just playing around with the REPL if, if you're not going to make a program out of it. I've also, I'm mostly going to look at how to work with Jupyter in Julia so that you can um, get some proper analysis done. So it's still installing there. Uh, I don't quite know what's going on. Uh, okay. While it's installing, I might cut the video off there. Uh, hit subscribe so you get notified of the next one once it's ready, uh, where I'll be going through uh, some more detail on different coding with Julia. Oh, oh, here it goes. What is my next video?